In this video, I want to go over the general navigation in Focus. Now, to access Focus, you start in ClassLink. I'm in my ClassLink here, and you see that I have two different Focus icons. I've got the training icon, and I've got the live icon. The live icon are where students are currently now being enrolled for next school year. And I want to go into the uh, live icon, so I just click on the owl here. And it's going to take me to my sign-in screen. Now, what you should be able to do is sign in here with your network login, which is your full email address. I'm going to do that now. And when I do that, it's going to take me to my focus portal. All right. Once you're in your portal, I want to go over some general navigation icons that we've got. The first one I want to show is in the top left-hand corner. This the Okaloosa County School District logo. This is your home page button. With this button, you can navigate from whatever page you're on back to the portal page. For example, if I want to click over here and look at new enrollments. To get back, I don't have to click the back button. I can just click on the home button here. And it takes me back to the portal page. Speaking of that, next to the home button is the name of the page that you're on. This is the page title. Right here it says portal. For example, let's go back and look at new enrollments. It now says online enrollments. So you'll always know where you're at by looking at the page title. Next to that, you'll see a star. This is for favorites. And right now I don't have any favorites, but to add favorites, I can choose the green plus symbol. Again, let's go back to new enrollments. Let's say I use this a lot and I want to add it to my favorites. I click the star symbol and I just click the green plus sign. Now you see when I click on the star, I have a favorite of students and online enrollments. All right, below that is all of the different focus navigation menu areas. There's a lot of areas here, from students all the way to reports. And when you click on them, it's going to bring down a drop-down menu of other things that you have here. For example, let's say I want to add a student. I could click on students and then click on add a student. And I'm now taken to the add a student page. You notice that the title does say now add a student. So you can utilize this focus navigation menu to get to other activities areas of focus that are on the portal page. I also want to show you the username. You always want to make sure that this is you because anything you do in focus is documented and you want to make sure that you are in the correct profile that is related to who you are. Next to that is your school. Now you can also click on this and if you have multiple schools that you're associated with it'll bring up a drop down menu of the different schools that you have access to. All right. Below that is the school year. Now you'll notice this is 2022-2023 because that is the first full year of focus. So that is for next school year, but we actually have students being enrolled in there now. Primarily kindergartners or any new students that are coming just for next school year to start next school year new to the district. So let's say that we've been using focus for more than one year. Uh, this is also a drop-down menu that allows you to go to previous years. For example, let's say I want to go to last year, which is th this current year. When I click on that, you'll notice that everything changed to red. If you see red, that means you are not in the current school year for focus. You can look at previous materials, but you are looking at a previous or a future school year. So I'm going to go back to the current year of focus, which is 2022-2023, and you notice everything changes back to the blue color that we had initially. All right, this also next is the quarter. You can change the quarter you're looking at if you need to look at previous information for students or school information, right? It's defaulted to quarter right now because that is the current quarter that we are in. Below the focus navigation menu, you see alerts. Now, Alerts are where you're going to get information sent to you based on your profile. For example, you see here I have online new enrollments because based on my profile, 
I'm looking at new enrollments for Focus. For These are new students for next year. And I can always see anything like that on the alerts. And again, this is profile based on your profile. Next to that are any district or school announcements that are current and any upcoming events. You also have a calendar here. Now, this calendar um, is not your school calendar or your personal calendar. This is a focus calendar. And when you click on it, it's just going to bring up anything you've got in focus. All right. Below that, you have the find a user or a student. And this is where you can search for a student or another user in focus. All right. Below that, you have recent programs and favorites. You notice now I do have the student online enrollment since I added that to my favorites. It does show down here as well. And any recent programs that you have used. All right. Below that, you see a magnifying glass. Now, to, this just allows the focus search. And you see that it goes for messages, other messages. But let's say I want to look at new st uh, student enrollment, enroll a student. I can click on that, and it takes me to the Add a Student page. So it, it's linked to these uh, navigation areas up here, but it's just a quick search. All right. Next to that, you've got Messenger. And this Messenger allows you to send an instant message through Focus to a student, staff, or parents. You also have the Help button next to that that provides help for you uh, while you're in focus. And then a very important button beside that is your logout. You want to get a habit of when you're leaving focus, making sure you log out. Now the reason for this, AS400 users may understand this a little more because when you log into AS400, everything's documented so that if we need to go back and see when something was done and by whom so we can ask why and what the reason was for, uh, it's documented that way. Focus is going to be like that. So to make sure that your profile is not compromised by you forgetting to, you know, you leave it up by your, on your computer by mistake, you always want to get a habit of clicking log out. And what that does is it takes you back out of focus and ensures that your account will not be compromised. All right, so that is a general overview of the navigation from the Focus portal page. Thank you and have a great day.